The Hittrick Academy is dedicated in loving memory of Rabbi Tzvi Hirsch Hittrick. Welcome to today's lesson. Today we are going to learn from Ameymar, which is right over here by the dot, until Toshma, which is on the second to last line of the page. Today's Gemara is a story which happened with a few Amirayim, which, is, which has a connection to the previous Gemara that we had learned. In our previous Gemara we had said that if an owner makes a shliach and tells the shliach to give truma from his field, so the owner usually gives truma from the regular field, from the orange field. However, his shliach went and gave from the blue field. So the Gemara said that when the owner came back, if the owner said, hey, why didn't you give from an even better field? We look at the field. If there's a better part of field, a better field, then we realize that the owner was serious, that yes, it was good that you gave truma, but you could have given from an even better field. And therefore, what the shliach gave is fine because the owner is happy with what he did, and he's just saying in the future you could do better. However, if there is no better field, there's no red field which is even better, then we realize that the owner is being sarcastic, and he is unhappy is not with the selection that his shliach made. That is what we learned in the previous Kamara. Today we are going to learn, learn a story which happened, which is connection which has a connection to this halacha. Let's see the Gemara. We're going to mention now three names of different Amirayim, and then we're going to mention where they went. So Ameymar, that's the name of one person, Umar Zutra and Mar Zutra, that's the second person, Virav Ashi and Rav Ashi, Iklu, they went, Lebustana to the orchard, the Mari Bar Isak of Mari the son of Isak. So these are the four people. Amemar Mar Zutra and Ravashi went to the orchard of Mari Bar Isak. I see Arise Tamri Vidimani. So the Darisa, the sharecropper who worked for Mari Bar Isak, I see he brought to them Tmari, he brought them dates, Vidimani, and pomegranates to eat. They shot the Kamayo and placed it before them. So Amemar Rav Ashi Achli. Amemar Rav Ashi ate from the fruits. Marzutra, however, Marzutra, Loyachil. He did not eat from the fruits. Because he was afraid that maybe the sharecropper gave the fruits without the permission of the boss, Mari Bar Isak. Adahachi, so this is what happened when he, when they came to visit him. Adahachi, w- meanwhile, also Mari Bar Isak. Mari Bar Isak, Bar Isak came, Ashkechino, and he found that they were eating the fruits and that the sharecropper had given them fruits. And he told the sharecropper, Amai loy isis lehu rabbanon, why did you not bring loy isis lehu rabbanon, why didn't you bring to these Rabbanim, Mehanach Shapirasa, from these better fruits. You could have given them even better fruits. So this is the statement that Mari Bar Isik told his sharecropper. And so therefore, and that, what happened afterwards? Amru le Amemer Rav Ashi or Marzutra, so Amemer Rav Ashi told Marzutra, Now you can eat. Hashta Amai Layachil, now that you heard that Mari Bar Isik said you could have given better fruits, and seemingly it's referring to a case where there are better fruits, which in such a case we mentioned the Baitruma, we consider it a good thing that the owner agrees with his shuyach that he gave the truma. So in this case, when the owner when the sharecropper gave from the blue fruits, from fruits which are pretty good, and Mari Bayisik said you could have given him from better fruits, so we see that he's happy with what his others did, what his sharecropper did. So now, you're allowed to eat the fruits. So why aren't you eating the fruits now? This is what Amem and Ravashi asked from Marzutra. Sahashta, Amayla Yachil Mar, now, why are you not eating Mar? Mar means, his name is Marzutra, which Mar means master. Vatanya, we learned in a brisa, Im Nimtsu Yafes Mehen, that if we find that there is a field which has even better wheat, which we just saw in our chart, there's, there's a red field as well, which has even better 
produce. Truma say truma. Then it will be considered truma because we see the owner is happy. So over here, Mari Bar Yisak shows that he's happy with what his sharecropper gave them to eat. So why does um, why is um, um, is uh, Marzutra not eating? This is the question that they asked him. So let's just put a question mark over here, and the question starts over here. So now Marzutra answers them. Let's make an answer. Amar Lahu, he said to them, Hachi Amar Rava. Rava said as follows, Lai Amru Kilach Eitzel Yafais. When did, when do we say that when the owner says you could, you should have gone and gotten from better fruits and that's, and that the owner is happy with this choice? Elalinian Truma. This is on regards to Truma Bilvad, only by Truma. Mishum de mitzvah hu, because it's a mitzvah, v'nechale, and he's happy that his sharecropper gave from good gave good fruits, or his shuyach gave from good fruits. So that's by truma. Aval hacha, however, over here in our case where it's not truma, mishum kisifusa hu da amra hachi, because kisufa means embarrassed. Because he is embarrassed, he said as he said the following. What does this mean? When did the Chachamim say that if the owner usually gives from this field, from the yellow field, he normally gives Truma, from this yeah, orange field, and he saw that Shliach gave from the blue field, and he says, hey, you should have given it from even better. So we say that the Truma from the, that the Shliach gave from the blue field is good, because when it comes to Truma, a person is generous. So he says, oh, you could have given from the red field, but you get from the blue field, I'm still happy, even though it's not what I usually give, because truma is a mitzvah, so that's why we say that the owner is happy and it will be considered truma. However, when it's not a mitzvah, when it's not the mitzvah of truma, and just in this case where they came as guests, so Mari Bar Isik, the reason why he said to, to his sharecropper you could have given better is because he was embarrassed to say something else. He was embarrassed to say, oh boy, why did you give them such good fruits. So he said in a way that, oh, oh, why did you give them this fruit? Fruit you could have given even better. But it's not because he actually me meant it. It was just because he was, he didn't want to be embarrassed. And this is the end of this Gemara.